Well, hey everyone, this is Shirish. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm back with one of the another amazing US universities, Indiana University, also known as Indiana Bloomington or IU, or simply Indiana. In this video, I will give you an in-depth view of the university and will decode the academic, social, and financial aspects of the university with my star ratings. And then I will offer you the most important tips and strategies to get into India. These tips are especially for postgraduate students, undergraduate freshmen or first time and also for transfer students. This knowledge and these strategies are not known to 90% of the applicants. So make sure to grab a paper and a pen and take notes or save this video for your later reference by hitting the like button. Now let's hit up for Indiana University. Hi, I'm Shirish Gupta and I empower people to hack their success, rise above the challenges and confidently create an extraordinary life they deserve. Indiana University is a public research university in Bloomington, Indiana. It was established in 1820 at State Seminary and after a couple of transformations was finally named at Indiana Universities in 1839. Although Indiana University is a parent university with about nine campuses, namely Indiana, Blooming, Indiana University Bloomington, IUPUI, IUPUC, Indiana University East, Komoko, Northwest, South Bend, Southeast, and Fort Wayne. But today we will be discussing the most famous and largest of these campuses, Indiana Bloomington. Indiana Bloomington is located in Bloomington, which is a small city by world standard, but the seventh largest city in the state of Indiana. Bloomington has also established itself as one of the major employers representing a diverse set of fields like education, technology, life sciences, and manufacturing. The IU Bloomington campus is about 1,936 acre style by a world famous architect IMP. The architecture showcases his distinct style with his work with Italianate brick to college at Gothic limestone. Other unique campus features include fountains, gargoyles and arboretum for more than 450 trees and shrubs surrounding two reflecting pools, a limestone gazebo and a Jordan River, a pretty creek that runs alongside the shaded path. But that is not all. The campus recently included a lot of new buildings for informatics, engineering, and computing schools. The most popular majors at Indiana University include finance, informatics, marketing, accounting, media, music, foreign languages, and education. And like I always recommend not to go for rankings with any college while deciding to apply there, I'm not a big fan of judging universities solely on the basis of the ranking. But Indiana is one of the top 20% universities in the world according to US News, QS News, and all other major ranking services. All right, now let's move on to our next section, talking about the right fit, starting with academic fit. The academic environment here is rigorous, but not cutthroat. It prides itself on its liberal art education, and most freshmen are admitted in what they call university division rather than pre-professional programs. The major is declared after one to two years of education. General education courses include math, sciences, arts, and humanities, social and historical studies, English composition, world languages, and cultures, and additional requirements that vary by school. IU offers about 200 plus undergraduate and about 300 plus PG majors, minors, and cross disciplinary education as an individual design curriculum. There's a balance with room for both competitive overachieving students and a laid back care for individuals. Apart from these, Indiana's Kelly Business School is highly reputed worldwide. Global studies, finance, accounting, media, and marketing are well-known programs here. Jacob School of Music is also top in this field. Music programs provided are a top of the class too. Despite IU Bloomington's reputation as a basketball powerhouse, it also provides committed students with programs ranging from foreign languages to music and social science. For those looking for study or opportunities, the university offers more than 300 programs in other countries in nearly every field of study. Research is an important component of academics here. Faculty members bring their research directly to students and some professors, especially, especially in math and sciences, bring undergraduates into their labs to assist with the ongoing projects, which is a huge plus. The professors are remarkable and the quality of teaching is excellent. As for advising, many students seem surprised by the personal attention they receive at such a large university. And they soon learn that many available resources are helpful to those students who seek them out. Many Nobel Prize winners are also present in the faculty. Most of the classes here are small in size. About 71% classes have fewer than 20 students but some of the freshman classes can go up to 150 students too. So keeping all this thing in mind, I would like to rate Indiana with four stars on academic difficulty and quality level, where four is the highest level. But after academic fit, let's move on to social fit. Indiana Bloomington by the size of campus as well as student population is a large school. 
So it definitely is bound to have amazing social activities for everyone. There's a balance with room for both competitive overachievers and laid back carefree individuals as I said earlier. Student says Bloomington is a great college town. There are many excellent bars, shops and restaurants including one of the few Tibetan restaurants in the country. Campus organizations host numerous events. The IU Student Union is one of the largest in the nation and special amenities like a range of extracurricular organizations. The little 500 bike race model after the Indianapolis 500 is the biggest event of the year. Every fall, there is about 36 hour charity dance marathon as well. Indiana has over 42,000 students with about 34,000 as undergrad and a small part of remaining as PH, PGs or PhDs. The university is about 37% student body out of state and about 15% to 20% student as international, which is extremely diverse as well. Housing is guaranteed to all freshmen, but still about 64% of student body lives off campus. It ranges from Gothic quads to 13 floor high rises and halls are considered clean and comfortable. All dorms have laundry facilities, cafeterias, computer clusters, an undergraduate advisor, graduate advisors, and some even have special amenities like language speaking floors. Indiana University offers housing for graduate students as well through IU's Residential Program and Services, RPS. It provides on-campus housing to IU students. RPS manages more than 1,000 apartment units as well as about 6,000 residences hall rooms. Students who live in RPS housing enjoy the convenient location, easy billing, and student community that come with a living on campus. The university also has a considerable Greek life with about 24% of men and 21% of women involved in it, which on the other side also brings a large dissection between the student population. Dining options range from buffet style to food courts with outlets offering international and healthful menus sprinkled among the fast food options. Alcohol is prohibited in the dorms. Basketball is an established religion in the state of Indiana. Purdue is IU's traditional athletic rival, but there are about a dozen other club sports available for you to enjoy. The Hoysers men's basketball, track and field, and swimming and diving teams have claimed Big Ten championships. Indiana offers competitive academics and a good social life as well. I would like to give it four stars out of five on quality of life at Indiana. And now let's look at the financial fit. Indiana falls in an affordable school category. Although at first sight may seem like expensive, given up about 35 to 45,000 in annual tuition expenses, the housing and dining is about 15 to 18,000 range for the most. But the scholarship and financial aid offered here is considerable in most cases, making it easier to afford. There are many financial aid, merit and athletic based scholarships awards available ranging from $14,000 to about 24,000 scholarships annually for international students as well as domestic students. Indiana University is really very good at providing scholarships, so I will give you 4 stars out of 5 on financial fit. But after exploring the fit, let's move on to the most curious section on how to actually double or triple your chance of getting admission to Indiana University with my special admission tips and strategies. Indiana University usually recommends the aspiring students to start preparing from 8th grade onwards and have gone to lengths to create a good plan for their students which is available on their website for everyone as well. Well, this can also translate to postgraduate students to start preparing for first year of college itself. Apart from the activities they want you to engage in, I'm going to share some expert advice that will help you succeed with the Indiana application procedure. The admission process in Indiana is designed to select highly talented students, but a lot of handholding can be experienced here too. The university has an easier approach in terms of academic requirements. A decent academics can get you in Indiana. But if you're looking for Kelly Business School, you must have high academic grades. A range of 80 to 90% is good for Indiana, which is about 36 IB points. For postgraduate, a GP of 7 and above is good one. One very important tip, demonstrative interest gives you extra points in Indiana University. Demonstrative interest means you are contacting university, attending webinars or even college visits or social media. All these actually show Indiana University you air interest and they value it. So make sure to join the mailing list well in advance and stay connected and updated on recent advancement through the social media as well. The application officers review your applications for academic performance and preparation, such as how rigorous your coursework was, the individual grades and cumulative GPA, your SAT, ACT, or even GRE, GMAT scores, and the additional insights offered through your application essays or SOP. Holistic review through your supplementary information such as leadership experience, extracurricular activities, community service, work experience is considered too. Make sure to include your leadership experience if possible along. 
Letters of recommendation are not required here, but are accepted should you wish to share for undergraduate admission, but it is actually required for postgraduate admissions. Always apply early for maximum benefit, especially if you're looking for scholarships. The sooner you apply, the chances of getting a good offer are higher. For undergraduates, students can apply to early action decision, which is about November deadline, and regular decision in about January to February. The applications are accepted through common application. As, as, as far as postgraduates and PhDs are concerned, applications are accepted individual department-wise. Most of the courses have fall start only. Deadline for PG is between October to March every year. For transfer applicants, around 1,000 students are admitted every year in different programs. They must meet the prerequisite and minimum credit requirement, which is on average about 30 credits of transfer. In the end, to conclude, if you are a hardworking, okay with an intense workload, a leader, don't like parties too much. For those not frightened away by throngs of classmates, Indiana University may be a great fit for you. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really appreciate it. Please make sure to support my work by liking and sharing this video with your friends and family and also subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. If you want to get admission to Indiana University or other top universities, I would highly recommend you to check out this course on college admission. I have created this course with 11 years of my expertise and helped thousands of students to get admitted to top colleges such as MIT, Harvard, Stanford, Columbia and all other top colleges around the world. This course packs the most advanced college admission strategies for university shortlisting, profile building, essay writing, college interviews, and everything else that will make sure you get into the school of your choice. It is sure ticket for your dream college admission. Well, thank you once again, and I'll be back with another amazing video. Till then, this is Shirish signing off. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.